Welcome. Two. Gameplays. Let's plays. Arcade Gaming. DIY Projects. How's it going? Z-Man and Tech here. Well, thank you for tuning in to Snowly Games. Really appreciate you, as always. And today we're going to be taking a look at an officially licensed skee-ball game, which is very interesting to me because I, I haven't really seen any other uh, licensed skee-ball games, and it's actually one of my favorite pastimes. So I'm pretty eager to see what we have, you know, going on for us here. Um, I'm, I'm optimistic because the Wii Bowling experience has been greatly improved with the Motion Plus edition on uh, Wii Sports Resort, and you know I'm hoping for the best with this. But uh, <laughs> I've heard some mixed reviews, and uh, I don't know. I like to some things you just have to experience for yourself, you know. I, I, and I'm the kind of person that's you know I play a lot of indie games, and I'm the kind of person that believes every game has should have a chance you know it should be played at least once before you you know have a deciding factor on whether it's for you so <clears throat> without much further ado let's uh let's have our first impressions on this channel all right so we're gonna go to play now Okay, when you play with the Joy-Con controller attached to the strap, yada yada, we got that. You know, give yourself some room, you're gonna knock someone's face open, we don't want that. Alright. <laughs> and it's like, why not take a break? Press the X button. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Alright, so move arms slowly left and right to steer the direction arrow. Okay. Press the ZL button on the Joy-Con left to signal start of your move. Neutral position, swing back, swing forward. When you finish a swing forward, the game will throw the ball automatically. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, I was really hoping that they would have took the approach that we bowling took and uh, allowed the user to basically execute the release of the ball with a trigger button. But let's let's give it a shot. Um, oh, and on the left it shows power meter showing strength of your shot. Okay, all right. So, and off rip, it's not calibrated. So we're gonna have to hit the minus button to calibrate. All right. All right. So let's do it here. Let's go ahead and go with a uh, ZL. Oop. And I knock something over. <laughs> that happened all right i'm not sure if i'm gonna edit that or not all right <laughs> so okay and i accidentally also hit a button <clears throat> a button the ellen ellen r shoulder buttons allow you to switch between standard controls and motion and as you can see here unfortunately uh <laughs> it tends to throw you right back into the tutorial every time you do it and that's a bit of a that's a bit of a problem because, um, unfortunately, let's see. Oh wow, kind of overthrew that. Um, <clears throat> because unfortunately, <laughs> the as as many know on the Joy Cons, the shoulder left and right shoulder button are very easy to press. They're they're pretty sensitive. So yeah, maybe something. Oh, let's see. 
Ah. Okay, that's interesting. Let's try it again. Okay, I'll take that 30. And okay, so here's the thing that's that's off rip a bit of an issue for me. So you have the control with the motion here, as you can see that I'm doing. Um, but that's only until you initiate. Once you initiate with ZL, you know, you then toss with the, the right Joy-Con and once that direction is set, it doesn't really matter, you know, how you throw it, apparently. <laughs> like the direction has been set. So that that's kind of an issue. And I don't know if you've noticed it, but I've had to recalibrate after every turn, um, after swinging. So yeah, that's <clears throat> it's a bit of an issue. For me. Um, I mean, it, it kind of takes away from the experience. It's not very seamless. Uh, okay, and I, I can confirm this too, is that once you once you hit ZL, you don't really have to hold it. Um, you've already initiated the throw, so you can just toss at that point. Um, and you really have to extend all the way from, from uh, front to back there, or back to front, apologies. So it will not launch the ball until it it comes above waist level uh, or almost torso level. So uh, it's not very authentic as far as being accurate. Um, it would have been nice if you can kind of control the direction of the uh, of the ball as you're throwing it, like in Wii Bowling. Um, and I'm really trying not to compare the two <laughs> as much as it sounds, but I mean, I really don't have anything else to go off of and that's really unfortunate um it just this seems a bit like okay we got 100 it seems a bit like a step back unfortunately um is is kind of my synopsis here but once you get the rhythm and motion of how it wants you to play um as you can see here i'm doing fairly uh, a little better um okay but I kid you not, um, <laughs> it takes some getting used to, and you have to really be a, uh, you have to be willing to abide by the laws of physics in this game. Uh, I guess to really enjoy it. I don't know. I'm, I'm doing okay right now, so I'll give it that. It's, it's not like horridly bad, you know. It's not a horrible. It's not like a horrid experience like in in, in, in in total but it it could use some work that's that's really where i'm where i'm at with it right now i keep stepping on stuff i have to move some stuff back here all right so let's run it back and what i'll also do in all fairness i will uh play the game with standard controls and see what the difference is uh, aside from the obvious fact that you don't have to swing your arm um, is in a in a sense of being playable that's really what I go off of you know uh, as I said earlier I believe every game deserves to be to have a chance to be played at least once before you can you know just completely write something off as you know it's not for you or you don't you don't think it's very good or it sucks or whatever you know um, <laughs> And you got to give it a chance, a hundred percent. And uh, I want to say that this can be likened to, or is a port of the mobile mobile version of this game, um, which is highly possible because a lot of mobile ports do come to Switch, which I don't mind. I don't really have an issue with that. Um, a lot of folks seem to have a gripe with that, but you have to realize that this is a hybrid console. Um, it's it's going to happen, <laughs> and it would probably be best suited for that sort of thing to happen but just you know implementing uh you know other types of controls besides touch uh, so that being said if you play in touch style it's going to mimic that more of the uh let's see all right so score exactly 440 to this round to get 100 tickets all right um so you have little challenges too as you can see <clears throat> but yeah so that's another method as well is uh in handheld mode with uh your touch screen because <clears throat> it's going to mimic more of the actual mobile version um which makes sense um but i imagine you can still use uh 
the regular controller method uh, in handheld mode as well. I don't know if it defaults as touch. Uh, I haven't really tried that. But I'm more interested in motion. That's that's why I'm doing it this way. So, All right. and then after this time, I'm doing horrible now, <laughs> as you can see. But after after this uh, session, I'm gonna sw swap over to physical controls and give it another shot here. I keep having to just having to recalibrate every time though is it is a little frustrating. Um, this is by, I'm naturally trying to curve the ball <laughs> when I when I want to go to those corners for the hundred pointers, and just because I'm I'm it, I'm uncentering the cursor when I do that, so it just doesn't feel as authentic if you're not at least curving, even though I don't have to. Um, okay. Okay, of course I didn't make that score. I always seem to get half at least. <laughs> so, all right. So we're gonna go back in again. Three times balls in the 20 points hole in any order. I swore I was able to do that one at least. Um, all right, so I'm gonna hit R, swap over to control method here. And we have uh, ZR to shoot the ball. Uh, we can adjust the shooting angle with right stick and move the ball with left stick. So, okay. Okay, well, and, and it wasn't like that much of a uh, tutorial on that one. Thankfully, it was a little, you know, shorter. So I'll give it that. Uh, the other one, switching to the other one though, is a bit frustrating because it goes through the whole little spiel. But all right, let's, uh, let's go ahead. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. So the longer you hold it, the more, uh, the more it's going to have. Let's see if we can angle it just a little bit here. Trying to get that 20 three times. Of course, I'm not getting it when I try. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. I wanted it so bad. I only got one correct hit in there. Okay. Um, so let's try with the physical controls one more time. I'm going to see if I can get 100 here. Nice. I like the sound effects though. That is nice. That that's very uh, nostalgic, very calming to me. <laughs> Since like I said, it was like one of my favorite pastimes in places like that, uh, like Dave and Buster's and Chuck E. Cheese uh, main event, you know, stuff like that. Um, definitely got to hit up the skee ball if I'm if they have it. Okay. On those unlimited game nights, if no one else is playing, you can just, just wreck the entire night. <laughs> it's pretty great. Alright, so what we're going to do, let's check out the shop. Because we get these tickets, but I'm not sure what for. So I have a, so I've been kind of messing with this, you know, to kind of, you know, I had to see what I was getting into. You feel me? So, um, so I will be honest about that. Now, um, let's see. That's weird. Do I already have that one? Let's see. So scoring the ball, uh, scoring with this ball adds plus 10 points, 10 bonus points to your score. So, <clears throat> can I trade these? Oh, whoa, okay, that's what's happening. I'm doing too much, I have too many, um, <laughs> The, what is it? The sensitivity is a little too high with the joystick. Alright, so you sure you want to spend 120 tickets on this item? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, let's just, I wanted to just get like some of them. Let's just do eight. Okay.
All right, I need to back out of that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we get bonus points here. That should help getting the points. But I also want to check out more modes because I, I I saw that there were more modes and uh, everything like that. So let's yeah, let's do that. It's funny because the joystick is not as sensitive on the menu as it is on you know purchasing items with the tickets. So that's interesting. All right, game mode is classic. Call your shot. That's it. Oh, white, wipe out, countdown. Jeez, your target scores a minimum 1,000 points. Oh, how do you unlock it? Horse speedball, call your shot. I thought there was like one where you can kind of hit stuff. Um, stuff that looks like, uh, what is it? Oh, it takes tickets. Ah, <laughs> so you have to keep playing classic mode, getting a, a a butt ton of tickets to unlock modes. I imagine it was more microtransaction esque on the mobile version. Hmm, that's interesting. But all right, let's go. Let's do a little bit more of classic, and then we'll 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 go ahead and end it after we play make maybe one or two more or something. But that's interesting. But it looked like they had modes where you could uh, kind of hit little funny looking dolls or something instead of trying to get in the hole or whatever. So, all right, skipping through all that, recalibrate. I didn't even see what the challenge was, I totally forgot. At least I'm not overthrowing it. Like before, <laughs> I was throwing, like I swear it wasn't that heavy, but then it was acting like it was made out of paper mache and that I threw it at like 90 miles per hour. Like, <laughs> not sure what happened. Unless there was like a random update in between the last time I messed with this. I don't know. But I seem to be not doing as bad, or it's probably because I know how it expects me to throw it now. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Definitely overthrowing it now. Let's see if we can get a hundred. Yes. Ouch. That sucked. Got one ball left. Give me something. <laughs> Twenty, I'll take it. Okay. Mm. Alright, I give it one more try. And this and this is solely because I actually really do like um ski ball. You know, I really do. And I, I just I think if if they can get those uh kinks ironed out with the motion controls and you know add that much more um you know uh control to the aiming to make it more like if they can just it doesn't have to exactly mimic, but if they can make it somewhere along the lines of the accuracy that we bowling had, I, I think I think this will be a winner. Like I wouldn't mind to love ski ball, and you know, it's not often I have time to even go to places like Main Event and Dave and Buster's and things like that. So I I want to say that that would be uh, the best redeeming factor for this now as far as having to unlock everything with tickets it's a it's an indefinite grind um <laughs> but i'd much rather that than paying more money um because I, I think this is actually what is it set to like 20 dollars something like that um i know it's on sale oh my goodness <laughs> whoops <laughs> um i think it's uh it's actually on sale for like 99 cents right now um but I actually received the code uh, through a distribution system um, uh, for being a content creator. So yeah, much appreciation to Ocean Media um, for uh, allowing me to take a look at this and providing the code through uh, Wubit. So um, 
But that is one thing I'd like to note too is that you know it this game did receive you know a lot of scrutiny for not having motion off rip and uh you know, it was actually stated on Twitter from the CEO of uh, Ocean Media, if I'm not mistaken, um, that there would be, you know, motion controls implemented in, you know, future update. So thankfully that, that has been done. It's just, it needs a little work. So, um, and that's just in all honesty. So I don't know. In its current state, I, unfortunately, I, I can't really... <laughs> I can't really recommend it until that gets fixed. Um, and I and I and I I really really hate to harp on games, um, especially if it's a licensed game of a game that I really enjoy, which is Ski Ball. Um, and I I like a lot of the other uh, games that are under the Ocean Media, you know, publishing um, and creation and whatnot. Like uh, what is that other one? Um, it's like a Zelda clone. Can't think of the name of it right now. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, um, that was actually a pretty good game. And uh, there's a few others that they you know have under their belt right now. So it's, it, I think this is definitely a bit of a miss, uh, unfortunately, because of the motion. So, um, yeah, I that's that's kind of where I'm at right now. But it's not completely over i would say once i get that worked out um i can highly recommend this for sure um especially it, and it's really just because of the price point um i mean if it stayed where it was at uh you know i mean obviously you got to make money off stuff and everything like that uh for the, for the you know the contractors and whatever the work that was put in but uh you know at 99 cents i suppose but i don't want to see this game considered as that sort of a thing you know I, I think I think it could be great so that that's that's where I'm at <laughs> with, with the this ski ball game here so um, and it's really up to you it's, a, it's, a, it's at your discretion you know if you can if you can like I said if you adjust to its laws of motion and how it works uh, it, it could be relatively fun um, but you really got to have a love for ski ball that, that that's the best way I can put it. So if you like what you saw, definitely like, comment, subscribe. Remember to keep it locked to Snowly Games for all of your indie game, third party game, tech review coverage, sometimes Nintendo games and retro games thrown in the mix. Thanks. Have a great day.